Hi, I'm Sam Licardo. I'm the mayor of the city of San Jose, America's 10th largest city. Well, I'm Jamie Matthews. I'm the mayor of the city of Santa Clara. My name is Lisa Yarbrough Gaucher. I'm the mayor of East Palo Alto. My name is Rod Sinks. I'm the mayor of Cupertino, California. My name is Bill Harrison. I'm the mayor of Fremont, California. Fremont has 220,000 people. It's the fourth largest city in the Bay Area, and I have the privilege of representing the city that I was born and raised in. You know, my family has an interesting immigrant heritage. Uh, we go back 15 generations in this country, but I've been here in Santa Clara for five generations. My great-grandfather, uh, more legend, I think, than anything, uh, worked for the Tsar of, of Russia when the revolution happened, and he fled to England. I'm something of a mutt. Uh, my grandmother on one side immigrated from Ireland. Uh, on the other side, my mom's family, I descend from some of the earliest uh, Mexican settlers in the Bay Area. The story is he fled to Russia, uh, fled from Russia to England and was sure that the secret police were after him and when someone asked him what is your name he looked up at the street sign and it said Harrison and he said my name's Harrison. And on my dad's side uh, I'm Sicilian and I know uh, all or most of my Sicilian ancestors that immigrated just uh, a couple generations ago came here illegally. People think that the, the gold rush defined our entire region. It really didn't. Uh, the gold rush started before that because the gold was really the uh, location, the weather, and the opportunity for people. And so, uh, you know, whereas my family came for that opportunity for prosperity in 1846, uh, originally to Santa Clara, people continue to come for the same reasons today. And within them burns that entrepreneurial spirit. Immigration reform is hugely important to the city of Fremont. In fact, uh, we every year have a legislative priority list that we pass on to our assembly members and state senators and congressmen and senators and for the first time ever uh, two years ago immigration reform was added to our list. We want the best people to run our companies no matter where they're from and doggone it if you don't hire the best person um, your competitor will. Our city we have a lot of service workers so our service workers are being affected um, by um, these issues you know to be able to have health care um, when needed, to be able to go and get help with housing when needed and not be afraid that if I go and speak up, I'm going to be deported and separated from my family. That shouldn't be the case. Most people would think it's not a city issue, but it absolutely is a city issue. I mean, uh, Fremont's growth is in the, in the semiconductor industry in the 80s is why a lot of immigrants came to the city of Fremont. And uh, without jobs here, without people to supply those jobs, you know, we're at a competitive disadvantage to our uh, places overseas. You know, in cities we learned a long time ago uh, that there's no democratic or republican way to build a bridge or to pave a road. And it's critical for Congress to get that message as well. We're really tired of the partisanship. We recognize that cities work effectively because they can be pragmatic and nonpartisan. It's important for Congress to step up and be pragmatic about this very substantial challenge for millions of our residents. 